Hi guys, this is uh, Stefan Lesage again from the iTutor podcast and today we are back with uh, another English uh, tutorial and this time we're going to have a look at organizing your uh, Aperture libraries. Before we start though, I have to tell you guys that there, there is no really one single way of uh, doing it. There, there is no perfect solution to this. Uh, everybody can have his own structure within his Aperture library. So. Uh, what I will show you is uh, something I have been using because it's, it gets me to my pictures really fast, but uh, some other people for more professional reasons can use a completely different organization. In today's tutorial, we're gonna have a look at uh, using libraries, uh, folders, projects, and smart al albums to get your uh, Aperture library organized. We have a lot of things to cover again, so let's uh, start right away. Okay, uh, let's start up Aperture. So I'm gonna close uh, this window for now and start Aperture. The top level of organization is an uh, Aperture library, of course, and it is uh, pretty easy to create new libraries in Aperture 3 or uh, switch from one library to another. For example, I have this library here, but I could easily create a new one using a file, switch to library, other, new. And from here, I have a selection of uh, Aperture libraries I've been using lately, but I can also create a new, uh, completely empty library. I'm gonna close this uh, for now. So why should you use different libraries? Well, in my case, I've been using uh, three libraries so far, and all of them contain pictures uh, from a diff for a different purpose. Like for example, I have a library with uh, more professional related pictures, and I have a library with uh, just snapshots from uh, family and friends, and I even have a uh, completely different library for our uh, Aikido team. Uh, let's pick that one for a change. So I have an Aikido library, and this one just contains uh, projects and images related to uh, the Aikido team I used to be in. As you can see, this uh, Aperture library uh, is completely separate to the other ones. So it contains its own set of projects, as you can see here, a project, uh, its own set of folders, folders, its own folder structure. It contains its own images, its own smart albums, and additionally, it also contains its own uh, set of faces and places, for example, uh, and even its own set of keywords. So it is uh, completely separate to the other stuff. So now that we know uh, how we can use libraries to separate uh, stuff, we can have a look at the next thing. Okay, the next thing you can use is, uh, of course, folders. But in uh, this Aperture library, I kind of messed up. I was trying a few things and then uh, I found out that it wasn't uh, all that suitable. So I will switch uh, back to another library, this one. Uh, this one has a complete hierarchy of folders, for example. I have a folder with uh, family and friends. Within that folder, I have a folder for family pictures, and then I have them uh, separated by category, like parties, uh, field trips, holidays, and general. And if I would have a look inside those, I might even have other subfolders and at a certain spot I will arrive at some projects. So you can perfectly use folders to organize your projects in a hierarchical structure. I have seen quite a lot of people who use a, a hierarchical structure based on, on years and, and months. How could you do that? Well, simply project and albums, new folder, and you can create a folder, for example, 2010. And then you could create a new folder for 2010 January for example or you could go back to the top level and create a new folder for 2011 and that's how you could create a hierarchy now I have also seen a lot of people use this structure for example uh, underscores to make sure they are uh, always organized at the top or at signs but in fact in Aperture you can uh, customize this uh, layout if you want to. Right now they are ordered by name, so the underscore ones will appear above all the rest. 
then the numbers and then uh, sorted alphabetically. But you can change that, you can switch here and uh, keep projects and albums organized by kind, for example. But you can do it manually if you want. For example, now it's manually. And if I want the folder 2010 to appear before the rest, I can simply drag and drop it. And right now I could quit Aperture and start it back up again. And you will see that uh, my organization, my uh, order of uh, folders is still the same. So you can choose that. You don't have to uh, use the underscores or add signs. If you really want to uh, have a manual uh, structure or, or manual order, you could simply do that. I'm going to switch back to sorting them by name. As I mentioned before, folders can contain uh, projects. If I have a look at a hiking folder, I can see that it contains two projects, one for Shots I took in, in 2008 and one for 2009. Folders can also have albums or smart smart albums. Uh, here is an example, a smart album. I still have to review those images and organize them. And folders can of course contain subfolders. Uh, and then again, every folder can contain new projects. So when do these folders come uh, into use? Well, how can you use them? Well, for example, if I want to create a new smart album in here, in the hiking uh, folder, new smart album, uh, which contains all images with a rating greater than or equal to three, for example, then I will see all the images which match, uh, or images matching those criteria, which can be fought, found within the hiking folder. As you can see, I have them all. But if I would do the same thing, for example, in the subfolder Holland, create a new smart album, smart album with the same criteria, you will see that I don't have the same images appearing. And why is that? Well, because a smart album uh, normally by default only looks for all images within a certain folder or a certain project. So in this case, it will look for the three star images within the folder uh, Netherlands. And in this case, it will look for all three star images within the folder hiking trips. You can change that behavior, of course, if you click here, you can choose the source of your images. For example, here it is, uh, the source is the hiking trip, but you could pick the library, but then again, I have all three star and higher images from my whole library, and that isn't really what I wanted to achieve. Okay, I'm gonna delete those two smart albums for now. In older versions of Aperture, uh, there used to be two different types of folders. You could have, uh, I, th I believe it was uh, brown folders and blue folders. And uh, brown folders, if I remember it correctly, uh, they were used to organize within a single project and the blue folders were uh, to organize outside of a project. Since Aperture 3, they have the same color, so it's a little bit easier for now. Okay, at some point in, uh, in your organization, you might find that you have uh, made the wrong decision and you want to move a certain folder. Well, you can actually, actually do that. Huh? If I wanted to move the hiking folder within the family and friends hi hierarchy, I can do that. Yep. Easily done. Now I can move it back to where it was, and there we go. Moving folders is, is pretty easy, as you saw. But once you have a project within a folder, then you won't be able to move that folder within another project, for example. So once you have a project within your folder, you can only move uh, the folder outside of other projects. For example, I could simply move, uh, let's see, Lemberg to another place in the hierarchy, but also within a certain project. But as the folder Antwerpen already contains a project, I won't be move, able to move it inside another project. More professional photographers tend to organize their images by year and month, like I explained before. And then they will use uh, projects which start with a certain year and date and month. Uh, to quickly find back the shots, uh, the shoots they have done. But in my personal case, for more snapshot images like this library, I found that it didn't work all that well. I had a hard time remembering after five years, oh, the, uh, the images from the trip to Rodos we made, they were shot in 
2008 uh, and also in 2007 or 6. So I had a hard time uh, remembering in which year and where to find them in my organization. And that's why I switched to this uh, folder structure of uh, more like categories. Huh? If I want to find back the images we took in Rodos, uh, well, I have family and friends, it's family pictures. It will be holidays. Here we go. And we have Rodos. And within, within the Rodos uh, projects, I might have smart albums for anything. Las Vegas, same thing. La Palma, Austria. Bulgaria, it doesn't really matter. It was easier for me to find uh, my images back. And that's what I, I mentioned uh, uh, at the start of the uh, tutorial as well. There isn't really a perfect solution for this. Uh, everyone can create his own solution, his own organization, uh, as long as it fits your needs. Okay, by now we have reached uh, the end of this tutorial, so I hope you learned a few things about uh, folders and projects, libraries and smart albums. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and you learned a few things. If you did or if you have your own uh, way of organizing your images and you want to share that with me and with the rest of our uh, viewers, then please feel free to leave a comment on our website at itutorpodcast.com. From here on, uh, you will see that I have a new structure and you can immediately click through the Aperture Tutorials or you could have a look at the podcast page. And you should find the posts uh, for this episode, which is episode 28. And at the bottom of this page, you can easily leave a comment or uh, a suggestion for uh, the next post of the next uh, tutorial. If you have some additional time, please feel free to leave a comment in the iTunes Music Store. Let me close this window. Uh, how can you do that? Well, simply open the iTunes Music Store, search for iTutor Podcast, and click, click uh, through to the page of the iTutor Podcast, and leave a comment at uh, the bottom of this page. This really helps us a lot because it uh, allows us to gain a little more exposure and uh, to find the podcast easier in uh, the iTunes Music Store. I would like to use the opportunity to thank uh, someone because I noticed that I received the first uh, review in the US iTunes Store. So thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate that. And I hope that uh, some new ones of some uh, more uh, reviews will appear. Any additional feedback is also welcome, of course, on the website. In the meantime, I will be preparing for the next tutorial uh, in my Aperture series. And I think we will probably have a look at uh, how I import my images and uh, what my workflow is. But until then, I hope you will help me spread the word about the iTutor podcast. Thanks a lot for your time and I'll speak to you in the next tutorial.